Good morning, children. Welcome back to class four English lesson four. The trumpet of the swans. Here in the picture, we find the characters: the female swan, cob, and Sam Beaver. So, what do you mean by a female swan? You all know that a girl swan is called as a female swan, and cob. Cob means Male swan is called as a cob, and Sam Beaver is a boy who is coming across in this story for us today. I will now read the lesson and then explain it to you. Sam Beaver, an eleven-year-old boy, was walking through a forest when he heard a loud trumpet. Startled, he searched the woods and swamps. Till he found a big nest of two enormous trumpeter swans by a lonely pond in the middle of the forest. They were laying eggs. Sam was filled with wonder because he knew that the trumpeter swans were very rare. He returned to the same spot a week later to watch the birds again. But the swan could also sense that an outsider was. Nearby, here it's a story of an eleven-year-old boy. What was a boy doing? He was walking through the forest. What do you think trumpet means? Trumpet means the noise which the swans do is called as trumpet. Startled, he was very much surprised. He searched everywhere in the woods and in the swamp. Swamp means low areas on the ground where water collects. So what did he find there now? He found two enormous trumpeter swans near, and also a big nest. Now he found a big nest of the swans in the middle of the forest. What was the swan doing? They were laying eggs. Sam was filled with wonder. Snow. Now he was very wondrous, and he knew that the trumpeter swans were very rare, and also. He thought that to simply sit and watch the birds again. The swan had a strange feeling of being watched. She twisted and peered uneasily and gazed intently at the point of land that jutted out into the pond near the nest, searching for an intruder. When she finally saw, she surprised her. There was a small boy sitting on a log. He was very quiet, and he had no gun. There is a boy on that log. The swan whispered to the cob. The cob was furious. How did he get here in the heart of the forest? Boys can't fly, and there are no roads in the jungle. He shouted. Maybe he is lost," said the swan quietly. Anyway, he is just observing us. Now, what happened? There was a strange feeling. Now, the swan made out that somebody has come here, and what did it do? It twisted its neck around, and it saw. Gazed means it was looking steadily. And what happened? It pointed out to the very much large surface of the forest. Till then, what did he find? What did The swan find the swan found that a person who has come in and where he does not belong and should not go to. So a person who has got inside and he is sitting there on the log. Now what did the swan do? The swan whispered to the cob. Cob is a male swan. Whispered and told that there is a boy sitting on that log. Log means a piece of wood. And now the cob was very furious, and cob was wondering how did this boy come to the jungle? It's so wide jungle, and how did the boy reach the jungle? Either he can't fly, and there are no roads for the jungle. How did he come? Maybe this boy has lost, and he has no gun also in his hand. He has just come out as the way. Now, anyway, he is just observing us. He is looking at us. But what if he throws stones at us? Said the cob. Just wait. I will go and 
knock him cold with my wing now just wait don't start a fight said the swan he is not bothering us at all anyway i have started this nest and i will go and lay a fourth egg now said the swan for the next hour the cock paddled slowly around the tiny island keeping watch sam sat on the log spellbound at the sight of these large water birds after he had watched them for an hour sam got up and quietly left the birds watched him go sighing with relief the swan left the nest and turned to look back there lying safely on the soft feathers at the bottom of the nest were four eggs she gazed at them proudly now as the boy was observing and the swan made out that the boy is sitting there what what did the cob say the cob said that he will throw stones at the boy or he will knock him cold knock him cold means hit him very hard to make him faint then the female swan said that no no just wait don't start to fight again there he is not disturbing us so anyhow i have already finished laying three eggs i will also now lay the fourth egg now and for next one hour what did the cob do the male swan it paddled slowly around the tiny island it went on keeping watching in and around sam sat on the same log and and he was filled with wonder by the beauty of something what was the beauty of something beauty of the large water birds and what did he do after he has watched them for a long hour what did the boy do the boy left quietly the birds watched them going now sighing with relief now with the relief the swan left the nest and turned to look back lying safely on the soft feathers at the bottom of the nest were four eggs now as a boy left home what did the birds do they saw or they were watching their eggs carefully and she gazed at them proudly looked at them proudly the swan settled herself in the nest to keep her eggs warm carefully she reached down with her bill and poked each egg until it was in just and right spot to receive warmth from her body the cob sailed around close by to keep her company and protect her from enemies he knew that a fox prowled somewhere in the woods he had heard him barking on some nights days passed and the swan sat and sat in the nest warming the eggs through sun and rain the weeks went by no one disturbed her finally one warm afternoon tired of swimming around the cob asked the swan do you never get tired of sitting in one place no replied the swan not really isn't it uncomfortable to sit on eggs yes it is replied the swan but i won't have to sit for long our sinens will be born soon don't you ever feel hungry as cob yes i do said the swan i am actually very thirsty right now in this paragraph the swan sits in its nest warming her eggs day and night passed and through the sun and through the rain she never got up from that place she sat there itself and nobody disturbed her and till then the cob sailed around in the water and then protected the birds from the enemies who were coming to attack and also it knew that there was a fox which was running in and out or in and around the forest now it was tired cob was very much tired swimming and swimming and it came to the swan and asked are you not tired sitting or are you not uncomfortable sitting here on these eggs now the 
Swan said that, yes, I'm uncomfortable sitting on these eggs, but I'm very happy also. Why is it happy? Because it will soon hatch the eggs and the baby chicks or baby swans will come out of it. Are you not hungry or are you not thirsty? The cob is asking. Now, the swan is telling that, yes, I'm hungry. I am also very much thirsty now and I wanted to drink some water, it said. The swan decided she could safely leave the eggs for a few minutes. She pushed some loose feathers around the eggs to hide them and keep them warm. Then she stepped off the nest and entered the water to take several quick slips. She glided over to a shallow place thirst her head under water and pull up tender greens from the bottom. Finally, she waddled out onto a grassy bank and stood there preening her feathers. She felt good, but she had no idea that at that moment their enemy, the red fox, stood waiting behind a clump of bushes. The cob spied the fox first. Look out, he trumpeted. I can see the fox creeping toward you. You are in a grave danger. Now what happened? Now as the swan said that it was thirsty, now the cop said that you go and come out for few minutes. And what did she do? The swan pushed her feathers on the egg and then she went into the water. She glided over to a deep water and she went inside the water and pushed suddenly and forcefully her head under the water and pulled up the tender greens. Tender greens means something to eat. It pulled out few leaves of greens from the bottom of the sea and finally she waddled. She waddled means she came to the grassy bank and stood there preening. Preening means cleaning her feathers with her beak and what did how did she feel she felt very good and she didn't have any idea at that moment their enemy that red fox is standing behind the clump of the bushes clump means group the group of the bushes growing close to the uh, place where it was warming its eggs and also the cob spied the fox the cob has observed secretly the fox and it screamed, look out, he trumpeted. Trumpeted means it is screaming. I can see the fox creeping towards you. It is telling that the fox is coming near to you. You are in great and a serious danger. Now somebody is coming to attack you. The warning is given by the cob. Just as the fox was about to spring on the swan, a stick came hurtling through the air, surprising everybody. It struck the fox on the nose as he yelped in pain while turning around to run away. The two birds could not imagine what had happened. Then they noticed a moment in the bushes. Out stepped Sam Beaver, the boy who had visited them a month ago. Seeing him, the swans knew that he had saved them from the fox. They realized that the boy was their friend after all, co, co, said the cob. Co, replied the swan. The pond rang with the sound of victory and gladness. Sam was thrilled. He walked slowly around the shore and sat down on a log. In this paragraph, the fox was about to attack the swan. Till then, what happened? Till then, a uh, Stick came hurtling. Hurtling means with a very high speed. Moving at high speed, a stick came through the air. Surprisingly, nobody knew that. And what happened? It struck the fox on the nose and yelped. Yelped means cried in pain while turning around to run away. What happened? Now, the two birds also never imagined that somebody will come to save them. Till then, the boy had come to save. Now, Sam Beaver, the boy who has visited one month ago to the pond with the same boy came and he saved the life of the swan. Now, 
that the, they realized that the boy did not come to hurt them. It was the boy was their friend. They both started to trumpet. Trumpet means make noise. Make louder noise. Coco, coco. And the swan is also replying. Coco, coco. And the pond rang with the sounds of victory and gladness. Now, what happened? There was a fun filled, the sound filled with happiness, victory and gladness. And what happened? Thrilled means they were all very excited and very happy. And the boy walked slowly around the shore and went and sat on the piece of the wood. The cob swam over towards Sam, climbed out of the pond and stood close to the boy, looking at him in a friendly way and arching his neck gracefully. Once he ran his neck far out cautiously and almost touched the boy. Sam never moved a muzzle. His heart thumped from excitement and joy. The swan paddled back to her nest and returned to her eggs. She felt lucky to be alive. Now in this paragraph, as the boy saved the swans, what did he do? He went and sat on a log. Now the cob swam came towards Sam and climbed out of the pond and stood closer to the boy. Now the cob came towards the boy and stood near the boy and looked at him very friendly and in a and arching his neck gracefully. Arching means curving, turning or curving or turning its neck gracefully. What did he do once? He ran his neck far out cautiously. Now the swan is looking around cautiously means very carefully. But what was the boy doing? And also as soon as it moved its body cautiously, it almost touched the boy to thank him. Sam, what did Sam do? He never moved a muzzle. Never moved a muzzle means he sat or he remained still without doing any actions. His heart thumped from excitement. The boy was very much excited and also he was very, very happy. The swan went back to her nest and returned to her eggs. And she was very happy to be alive. Because of whom the swan was alive? Because of Sam Beaver, the boy who helped them. Because of the boy, the swan and the cob. And the eggs were safe. Hope all have understood the story children. Thank you.